Hello, everyone. I am Gabriel. This is the Rise of Lancer show. Um, <clears throat> back to streaming live again. I noticed uh, the live streaming looks a little different this time. Last time I was able to see <clears throat> the preview of the video showing live uh, for me to um, see how the screen looks. And now for some reason, it's just completely blank. So I don't know what's going on. I have to look into it more. Um, and when it says you're a uh, presenter to everyone, I don't even know what that means. So I leave it on. Hopefully it'll get the algorithm out there more for people to tune in. So um, <clears throat> leave the presenting on. It's weird because I can't see a preview on how it looks. You know, I just have to go by uh, hoping that it's recording, you know, because um, I did a preview right now. I did a test right now, and it showed that it was getting video and audio, so that's good. Um, I just wish it could show me a preview on how it looks because I really don't know if it's um, going through or not. So uh, I'm not sure if it's a browser issue. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an update or something I need. I mean, if it's like this for everyone, I hope YouTube... Um, this is not really YouTube. This is Google Hangouts that's doing this. So I hope Google you, uh, Google Hangouts can fix this issue. I mean, it's strange because it's, it's recording, but yet I can't see a preview on how it looks, you know, so... I don't know why the screen is blank like this. Um, I really hope I can fix this issue, you know. Um, so I want to thank you all for subscribing. Uh, around 8,000 subscribers. Thank you all. Um, <clears throat> and um, the reason I decided to go back live is because um, I, I, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, subscribers unsubscribe little by little, you know, and. Um, I wish they wouldn't, you know, uh, to all my subscribers that are subscribed. I, I hope and pray you don't un unsubscribe because I guarantee you uh, big things are happening with this show. Uh, I'm going to be um, <coughs> streaming uh, live apparitions. I'm going to be streaming live apparitions um, in my backyard and other places in El Paso, Texas. So big things are coming. It's very exciting. And... Uh, I hope and pray you all can stay subscribed. Um, now we'll go ahead and uh, get into the news segment. The first news story is, um, let me get it going. Uh, Brazil co-leader who contacted aliens backed dictatorship with terror attacks, documents show. His name is Jer. J J A I R J A I R like J and Air Jer and then Bolsonaro has praised a dictatorship as a golden age. This is clues of when it talks about the last of the kings in Revelation. You know. <coughs> <coughs> So a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, especially we're seeing the rise of dictatorships, and that is a very, very big sign. Just as uh, Re uh, Revelation said, it's coming to pass when people are trying to make themselves rulers for life. You know, and it's not good. Uh, not good at all. So, you know, I mean, this guy, it, I think this is his picture here. You know, this guy, I mean, tell me. <coughs> Next story is... Oh, man, my nose is kind of running a little bit. Uh, Russian Space Agency says space station hole was deliberate sabotage. The good sabotage. I'm going to get some more. Uh, you know, I'm not even sick. You know, it's just allergies. I don't know what it is. You know. um, now the seasons are changing. <clears throat> 
I guess that's what it is. Okay, so uh, Russian space agency says a space station hole was a deliberate attack, sabotage. By who are they saying? Um, <clears throat> so Russia is accusing someone of sabotaging the space agency. Who are they accusing? Are they accusing the United States? Um, let's see here. Um, <clears throat> this is really safe. Okay, here we go. Um, we're not saying yet so far. <coughs> not really saying. No, they're not saying it's still under investigation. Uh, next story is. Oh, it's loading. It seems so weird. I wish I could see a preview on how the feed looks. It just looks blank. You know? um, next story. If we show up, God will do the rest. Prayer warriors descend on Capitol Hill amid Kavanaugh chaos. <clears throat> now, I don't like to get into politics of Republican and Democrat, you know, because um, I want all my viewers out there uh, to, to like me, you know, so I never choose sides, you know. Later, I'm going to have guests on the show, um, up and coming celebrities and stuff, uh, book writers, musicians, whatever it be. Um, if they have their own opinions, <clears throat> does not mean <clears throat> their opinions are mine. So, um, <clears throat> I always stay neutral, you know. So I'm not in favor of any side here. You know? Next story is <coughs> Hamas inflaming Gaza border again to force Israel to cease fire. Another ceasefire. This stuff goes on on and on since the beginning of time you know it's like it never ends there's no peace tree you never will be till jesus returns. it's just as jesus said and it's it's coming to pass when we're seeing a lot of uh countries that were once war footing with the war drums are now like at peace um <clears throat> could be temporary just like jesus said uh was it jesus in the bible it said uh, they were saying peace, peace in those times, but there never was peace. And then the end came like a torrent, you know, so I think that's what could be happening here. Pence calls out China for election interference. What the Russians are doing pales in comparison is what Pence said. <clears throat> so now, um, now the White House basically is saying that China is involved in rigging elections as well. Now it's not just Russia, China. Now everyone's going to be jumping on the election rigging train. You know we're going to be seeing um, Iran, uh, terrorist uh, countries um, trying to rig elections as well. Afghanistan, Iraq. You know now that Saddam's been out for so long, they can never create order in Iraq is still a mess because of ISIS. And ISIS, as most people don't know, is made up of former um, Saddam Hussein soldiers. Dang. I This is weird. You know, this live stream, it doesn't even show me uh, how much um, minutes are into the show. So I don't know when to start the show. I forgot when to start the time. I think it was 1030. You know, so this new Google Hangouts thing is very strange because one, I can't see the preview of the video. Two, it doesn't have a timer going that lets me know how far I am into the show. I wish it was more organized. I don't know. Maybe it's a setting I need to look into. I think it started at 1030. We're going to have to kind of end the show 10 minutes early. It might be 50 minutes. Um, <clears throat> I hate going over an hour, you know. Some people say, oh, an hour is too long. But the way I see it is I'm trying to 
bring a full um, experience, like a full actual talk show, you know, uh, with the news out for my take and stuff. Um, and for most people who, uh, uh, I should say most people, a lot of people like to hear the news. Huh? But for those people who don't like to hear the news, they could just fast forward to around 15 minutes, you know. So I try to have the show uh, 15 minutes, uh, 20 minutes uh, news, and then 20 minute talk of the day, and then the last 20 minutes, uh, 60 minutes for an hour, last 20 minutes EVP segment. Now EVP means electronic voice phenomenon. It's where you pick up the ghosts on the audio recorders. Okay. Um, out of press. Next story is. <coughs> <coughs> oh man, it's flat. These students are not ashamed. Great photos show brave children bring Bibles to school. I heard about this on the news. That was a national bring your Bible to school day. So. It's good. We need more. Um, and a couple more stories here. Wait, let me wrap it up. Prayer band at graduations after atheist group complaints. They always do. It's nothing new. You know? The fight's never going to end, man. Just like Jesus said, you know, that there will be no peace till Jesus returns. And we have a couple more new stories here. So. So my 8,000 subscribers, I hope and pray uh, viewers can tune in to the live broadcast. <clears throat> um, broadcasting live has its uh, good benefits. Well, one of the main benefits I like about broadcasting live is right when you're done at the end of the show, it automatically uploads. The other way, you have to wait like four or five hours for it to upload, you know? And this way is way much better. I prefer the live method. One thing I don't like about live is if someone distracts me, knocking on my door and stuff. And, but that's about it, you know? Um, <clears throat> it's really not that much. Um, the live stream really has its best um, upside to it. Um, and another thing I like about uh, live streaming is um, I could get more people tuning in, my subscribers tuning in, uh, to get them excited about the show, you know, because it's so hard, you know, to drum up excitement, you know. Um, and it's like at zero viewers right now, but hopefully, you know, I mean, I plan on having uh, thousands and thousands of uh, live viewers watching. You know, um, hundreds of thousands of people watching live on YouTube, my show, is my dream because that's the ultimate goal. Because then uh, when I summon the live apparitions from God, there's going to be so much built up energy that God's going to be showing the apparitions more. So that is the goal here. You know, um, <clears throat> That is the victory right there. When we get thousands of people watching, you know, and we bring the rapture, man, you know. Um, we bring this world. We save this world, man, and, you know, and bring us all into the utopian kingdom is what my record label is called. And basically, we bring this world into the utopian kingdom because this world is horrible. Not being doom and gloom or anything, you know. Um, <clears throat> a lot of good and bad with this world but you know what man the kingdom of heaven is where it's at and that's where we need to be that's where we need to go just like jesus said this world is not at home you know so um, <clears throat> let's see here let's wrap up the rest of the news stories real quick so it's very exciting you know this live streaming you know it's very exciting you know because Summoning apparitions live from God and thousands of people watching, that's that's the goal there, you know. Uh, rock used as a doorstep for 30 years is worth a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. So if you ever see a meteorite land in your backyard, just know that that is worth money. Uh, girl dubbed Queen of Sweden after finding an ancient sword from a lake. Wow. 
This is a weird story. A toddler shredded $1,000 worth of money. Can you believe it? I mean, you would think that a baby would start after, would stop after ripping up only a couple of bills. But this toddler shredded $1,000 worth of money. Now, it could have been $100 bills. That's easier to do. But if it was 20s and 5s and 10s, I mean, that's a lot of bills right there. But if they're in hundreds, then that seems um, <clears throat> more possible, you know, because there's less bills involved. Uh, Pentagon says China is undermining the U.S. defense. So this could be talk of war here. Um, there are clues of war, possibly World War III happening. Not to scare you all or anything, but just let you all know that um, we are in the end times. But the good news is that Jesus is returning to bring us out of this horrible world. You know, so don't fear World War III. If it happens, just just know with a smile and look up, man. You'll see Jesus returning, man, you know. We don't fear World War III, man, because we know Jesus is uh, going to save us, you know. Um, <clears throat> should, or was it not just rapper? He was a, a music producer, hip hop, gangster rap music producer. Should Knight sentenced to 28 years in prison for running over um, two people, killing one person a couple years ago. So you know that's crazy. <clears throat> he might be let out earlier for good behavior. He might be let out for 10, 15 years instead of 28. So. Um, but that seems like a low amount of time, 10, 15, for killing someone. Um, now, he's, he's saying it was an accident, you know, so it's very hard to prove, it, you know. How can you prove an accident is intentional, you know? And that story, Nicki Minaj launches a merch, merchandise mocking Cardi B. Nicki Minaj. Okay, so um, let's see here. <clears throat> now the topic of the day will be about uh, recent um, apparitions that appeared as well. Um, recent apparitions. And there was... Um, it's, it's hard having two phones here, having to switch back and back, back, back to back. Um, so uh, let's see here. This live stream to show the preview to show how much time is into it. It's like it's so weird, you know. I don't even know if it's uh, going right. Um, <clears throat> so let's see here. Recent UFOs that have appeared. There was this one. I, I like this one. This one was interesting. This was, uh, it doesn't say where it was at. No, it doesn't say where it was at. Um, it was on uh, September the 8th on a Saturday at 8 p.m. Uh, okay. In, in, this is a hard name to say. Breton, the G H is silent. B R I G H T O N, Breton, United Kingdom, is where this uh, UFO happened. Now I like this one because it shows. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I like this one because it shows. Uh, it looks like fireworks coming out of it, but. It is not fireworks. Because one, fireworks would not, um, say, would not be so bright in the daytime. This is brighter than fireworks. Plus, fireworks look different colors. So it's very strange, indeed. Um, and it just looks like a drone shooting fireworks. But my theory is, is that this one is an apparition. This is amazing stuff here. Check this out.
Again, I can't even see a preview myself. You know, the screen is like blank on the on the live stream here and showing a blank on my screen. So, as you can see here, there's stuff shooting out of it. That was truly amazing, you know. <clears throat> so if there are fireworks, it would have been different colors. It's weird. And plus, it wouldn't look as bright in the daytime. Well, people say fireworks do look bright, but these are lasting longer than fireworks that I usually do. So that's a key important feature to point out. Okay, now this one. This one was in where? Minnesota. And it looks like a circle of separate lights. Minnesota. A circle of lights. Now people could say that's just drones or something. And I've heard one person point out that uh, it's a it's a lights to display that go like like um, spotlights from a casino for advertisement that they see it all the time. But that was just one person that said that. So I don't think that um, that's the case here. Because if it was all time, then more people would be uh, saying it. Why is only one person saying that? So I don't believe that that's um, spotlights from a casino. Could be, but I doubt it. You know, um, very strange stuff, right? I believe we're what? Are we... 30 minutes into the show. I think we're 40 minutes into the show. I think it started at 1030. So it's going to be 11 a.m. here in El Paso, Texas. So I think that means it's 30 minutes into the show. I don't think I started at 1020. Um, the reason why I'm streaming so early is because... Um, my brother gets on my nerves. Every night he wants to have gaming all to himself, you know, so he uses up all the bandwidth. So it forces me to, to stream in the daytime. I wish I could stream the show at night, you know, but he gets on my nerves. He tries to hog it all, you know, it's on my nerves. Let's I get my own place, so. I don't have to put up with him, you know? <clears throat> trying to hog it all, you know? trying to be all dictator, you know? Gets on my nerves, man. I hate how the bandwidth of uh, streaming gets uh, clogged up, you know? I hate how <clears throat> I can't do what I need to do, you know? Just for him to, to play video games, you know? Um, it gets on my nerves, you know? Um, it should be like where everyone can uh, use the internet at the same time, you know? All this bandwidth slowing down and stopping, it shouldn't be happening. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I have to pay $50 every, every other month just for better features. It shouldn't have to be like that, you know? So I, I feel like we're being uh, limited, you know? These companies are already making enough money as it is. They shouldn't have to charge more for faster internet. It's not right. Not right at all. And I see it as a, a plutocracy, you know, as them controlling us all, you know, and it's, it's not right at all. You know, bad enough already paying for it 
you shouldn't have to pay more to get better features. And I think that's what net neutrality thing was all about. You know, <clears throat> Sorry. it's not good at all. Um, Cause yeah, even if I were to, I mean, I work all day, uh, every day, you know, so I'm only have like, uh, it was eight o'clock or nine o'clock at night. It's really not that much of a time frame to get everyone in um, America, because as you know, because as you know, um, what was I gonna say? Um, Sending a text real quick. Um, okay, so um, <laughs> like I was saying, if I were to be streaming every night. Um, I'd only have around eight o'clock if I'm lucky. Now the time's gonna change, so uh, get start at what seven still. I mean, it's really too late in the day, is what I'm trying to say, man. You know, because uh, even if it's like say at eight to nine, that's already in the east coast by Florida, um, Washington, D.C., and all the places around there. It's two hours ahead from here, so eight, nine, ten. It's already ten at night, and most people are already going to sleep because a lot of people wake up early for work. And it's horrible, you know. <clears throat> and then you try to stream on the what's it called? Prime time at seven p.m. That's when everyone else is you know, watching all the other stuff. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people are busy, you know, so. It's hard to get the exact time I want to stream live. Um, by hoping streaming at this time at 10 in the morning, hoping I get other people from all around the world, other parts of the world. So I hope to start off with that method. Later on when I start climbing the YouTube ladder, you know, and uh, hopefully, God willing, 50,000 subs and up, a million, a million subscribers is would be a dream come true that's that's where we're, that's the goal there you know um <clears throat> and, you know I mean, wow if i could reach 20 million subscribers 70 million subscribers man like pretty pie man i'm telling you that is the dream right there you know so right now we're starting off trying to get the live viewers from all around the world <clears throat> and later on, I'll change the the time of the show live streaming to at night, um, prime time, seven o'clock p.m. That's later on. Man. It's a couple years from now. I don't know. Could we do it in a year? Could we get that many subscribers in a year? That's the that's the goal there, you know. So. Um, now we'll go ahead and get into the EVP segment. Now EVP segment means electronic voice phenomenon. Okay. All right. Now the EVP I use is called, um, <clears throat> what's called ADV. It's called ADV, right? Um, but, you know, it's called ADV when you see the icon on the Play Store. But when you download it, it says EVP slash voice slash DD. And I don't know what DD means. I mean, maybe it means direct something. I don't know. But this is the best uh, EVP app. Uh, I'm not endorsing it or anything. Uh, I wish I could. But there's a whole bunch of good apps out there. But this is my favorite, in my opinion. 
That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not putting down any other ones. You know, <laughs> do your research. You know, you might find one better than this one. But for me, this is my favorite one. Now, on the iPhone, there's one called Ghost Calm. Um, sadly, my iPhone broke, so I only get another iPhone later on when I have money. You know. So now we'll go ahead and uh, getting get it going here. This phone's an LG Aristo. I like this phone. It's a good phone, and this phone's a track phone. You know, this phone is the phone I use uh, as an EVP. Not just EDP. I have used this as an MP3 player, you know, so it's pretty funny. You know? Okay, now we'll go, go ahead and get it going. Here we go. Make sure that you have to make sure the volume is muted because what it does is it hears the whispers and it plays it back in audio and text. And if it hears the audio again, it's going to be echoing and it'll be uh, saying again what it hears. So you got to make sure. The volume is muted. Here we go. Oh, Lord Jesus, Lord God, please let your angels speak through this medium or the apps on the cell phones at this moment. Hallelujah. Okay, that was a lot of words. It's rare when we get this much words, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, this one has the words Lando, like to land or something. I don't know. Exempt, <coughs> Krita, K R I T A. What could that be rhyming with Krita? Krypton. I have no idea. Authentic. Numbered and not confide secret. So what does this mean? If you put it all into a sentence, something is landing exempt, maybe like taxes exempt, like the churches. Uh, so something landing to tax exempt churches. Krita. Now landing, you know, first thing that pops in my mind is what, UFO? Um, because my theory is UFOs are apparitions, so um, maybe apparitions could be appearing over churches, the Vatican maybe. Uh, crypto, I don't know what that rhymes with. Uh, cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin maybe, uh, authentic, and an authentic Bitcoin is numbered, okay. So numbered into um, accounts, of bank accounts, this is weird. Could this be a clue to the mark of the beast? Maybe. This phone, we got the words, um, Kokra, K-O-K-R-A, Yate, Bedford, Bandicoot, that sounds like the, the video game Crash Bandicoot, uh, a pointing cedar, C-E-D-A-R, trig, T-R-I-G, progress, abstinence, and spiritness, so, uh, Cochra sounds like I can maybe say cockroach or something. I don't know. Uh, Yate, 
Bedford. Uh, what is what is a bandicoot? Is that an animal? I think. Uh, okay, a pointing. <clears throat> it's hard to form this into a sentence. Uh, a bandicoot is a pointing a cedar, triggering a process. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, it's really hard to make sense of all this. Next one. Okay, let's see here. This phone has words. Islet, I-S-L-E-T, dead bike. Serious, fibered, privy, rifling. I see dead bike time to time, very rare, but, you know, it's these ghosts that are mocking me, you know. <clears throat> Make it fun of me, man. You know, because I recently bought a bike and um, <clears throat> use it for my business, you know. So, um, you know, these ghosts just love to mock us, you know. But we will get the last laugh in, in heaven. Yes, we will. Okay, so. I don't know how to make a sentence of this. Uh, serious, fibered, uh, rifling. Huh. Okay. And this phone has the words, someone does not believe. Yeah, the devil don't believe. Desirable, curdling. Now, I believe curdling is a, that type of sport. Or like, um, it's kind of like um, bowling, but like with ice. And um, you send something far, far down. Uh, I believe that's what curdling means. A wharf. What is a wharf? W-H-A-R-F. That sounds like dwarf. A wharf, is that a type of food? I don't know. Like a type of bread? Uh, polona? P-O-L-O-N-G-A. That sounds like bologna. <laughs> that's a whole lot of bologna goes. <laughs> that's funny. And the last word, uh, the love we share. So how do you form this into a sentence? The devil don't believe um, desirable curdling. We're going to knock them. We're going to knock demons down, man, like a, like a bowling ball and pins, man. Uh, wharf, baloney. Uh, the devil's a bunch of baloney, man. Okay, so the last two, and we'll call it... Uh, call it a day, you know, I'm always saying call it a night before, because I was always recording at night, but now it's still daytime, so we'll call it a day. When the day's still barely getting started, okay, here we go. And the last two. We'll call it a day.
Okay, here we go. This phone has the words. <coughs> uh, guild, like fish gills. Dabber. <laughs> D-A-B-E-R. Dabber, like dab. Like dab. Oh, okay, so that's fine. Uh, next word, tickly. Uh, messenger. Bag. Conveyed. Stoppered. So what does fish gills have to do with dabbing? Uh, let's see here. Um, messenger. I'm the messenger. You're the messenger. We're the messengers. Uh, bagging what? Conveyed? When you go to an airport, they have the conveyor belt, and you put your bags in. That's weird, because this be something about an airport. Um, okay, so what does uh, fish's dabbing have to do with uh, bags at airports? I don't know. This is weird. Could it mean something? I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe something over an ocean or something? I don't know. So very weird one indeed. And this one here, wasted blight, vomiting live animals, and phlegmon. Phlegmon. Hmm. Now vomiting live animals. That's what David Blaine did. You know, magician David Blaine vomited out frogs. You know, I mean, why would he do such a thing when he clearly knows that in Revelation it says that um, the beast and uh, the false prophet will vomit out unclean spirits that are frogs. Why on earth would David Blaine do that? Um, one, to fulfill prophecy. But two, that makes him look like, you know, he's demonic. You know, so very strange. David Blaine, man. <clears throat> My opinion, he's all whacked out in the head, man. He's over here vomiting out live frogs, like in Revelation says, of the beast and the false prophet's mouth. And here, David Blaine is vomiting out frogs. You know, he's not right at all, man. David Blaine is like, I don't know, man. He wasn't the first one that started it. Forgot who he was. He mentioned David Blaine mentioned him, but he called it the Human Aquarium. <coughs> I believe it was in the 19th century, 1900s, that he started it. You know, so very few people have done it. And now he's resurrecting the lost ancient art form of vomiting out live animals. So how weird is that? So we'll go ahead and end it there. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please tell everyone you know to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. God bless. Peace.